Our technology days like we're here at Starag in Switzerland are not just about the machine tools, they're about uh, everything that is associated with it and this is something I've not seen before. I'm with Leonard here from Spike. Leonard, what is the product that you've brought to these tech days? What are you showing? We have a solution that helps to answer one key question for the end customers and the question is when does my tool fail? And you have experience you, about your tooling, about your process, but you are not always with the machine. And we are talking about automated machining. So what we supply is a sensor that detects the forces on each cutting edge during life, during the production, a software that can track the data, synchronize it with machine data, so we even know where we are on the place. And then we need to transform data into knowledge with KPIs, with digital twinning, with AI. That's what we do. Okay, now this is a, a tool body here. So we have to replace our tool bodies with, with one of your tool bodies, is Ex that correct? Exactly. You get from us a sensory tool holder. We use here the raw body of a tool holder. And from Regafix, from Haima, from um, the raw tool holder manufacturers in the world. But then we mount the technology around the tool holder so we make it sensory now. And it's a wireless sensory tool holder, so the data is transferred wirelessly to a receiver which is connected to the machine. Right, okay, this is really critical here to see this. Leonard, can you just show, this is the output, isn't it? This is what you're being able to identify, a cutting tool in action. Yep. Exactly. So recently we did this machining operation of a blade, yeah? and we had a situation with a new tool, and we had then the situation with a worn tool. The worn tool, we were able to hear, yeah? but we want to make these situations visible to the machine, to the machine, that's important. And what you see here is the cutting forces data measured directly at the tool. With a bending moment, we see that blue graph, but especially with that technique, we can show the forces on each cutting edge. And this is the eight cu a fluted cutting edge here. In the two worn situation, yeah, you see that the graph looks similar, the load is also similar, so you cannot really see the change. But look at the shape of that graph. Now it's changing, and this is what we detect. But you as an engineer, you can see that. What's the impact then, Leonard? Let's just pick this up here. Perhaps you can illustrate it using one of these. So that's the part, and we had these two sections here. You see the, the surface quality is different. One section was machined with a new tool. One section was machined with a worn tool, where the customer knew this is my critical point of my tool failure point. And with this data, what you see on the screen, we can visualize that situ situation. And when we have the raw data, we take algorithms for monitoring these situations. So we monitor the condition of the tool. Okay, now one final question for you. Does this mean then that I have to replace all of my tool holders? Because that's expensive. Exactly, but the value which you get out of it, not scrapping apart, is also huge. But you replace the tool holders uh, with the sensory equipment for the ones who are really, really relevant. And there's a solution which we are building with machine tool builders. We integrate that technology already in the spindle, so all the machines are covered with that technology. Okay, so if you have it in the spindle, you don't need it in the tool body? Depending on the sensitivity level for fine, fine, fine finishing operation for the last critical ones, you still need the mobile retrofit high sensitive tool holder. But roughing and 90% of the operations you cover with the spindle load or with spike and spindle with the integrated one.